Hey guys, Summer from Kokoda Caravans again. Here to talk to you today about one of our four couples vans. This is the largest of our single axle off-road vans. Very nimble, 18 foot seven, it's the Digger 2. It is a fabulous option. It's got a really good floor plan. I can't wait to tell you more about it on this brisk, beautiful, chilly winter Melbourne day. Let's talk about some of the fun stuff. We do make off-road vans. I know they're gorgeous, but I do like to show this part about it. So we've got 16 inch wheels, 2.7 independent tough ride suspension. This is all Australian stuff, which is of course what we want to hear with an Australian made van. This van is nimble. It's going to get you where you want to go. It's really easy to tow. And that is the beauty of single axle. Sometimes you get people that will say, oh, I really want to stick with double, but I got to be honest. There is something that's really convenient about having a van that can tilt and turn the way you want it to. And that's what a single axle provides. We're going to start at the front of our van. Right off the bat, you're going to notice we've got a DO35 articulated hitch. This is great because it goes both left and right and up and down. Not only does it make it an easier tow, it's also a good safety feature because if for some reason the van rolls, the tow vehicle doesn't, you always want to have a safe tow. Behind that, we've got a really easy brake handle to use. We've got a breakaway system. So essentially, if the tow vehicle becomes detached from the van, the van does brake itself and comes safely to a halt. Behind that, we've got a really nice, easy 90 degree jockey wheel. I really like this 90 degree because I'm short and it is really easy to crank the van up and down. Behind that, we've got our stone guard mesh. This protects the van from rocks that might flip up along with the mud flaps down here. You see behind, we've got a nice feature that I like that not every van's gonna have, which is our tray on the A-frame. Really great place to put your solo hoses or your firewood, things that you don't always want inside your van that are gonna get things dirty. Two nine kilo gas bottles is a standard for our vans, and behind that, a really big toolbox. Now, not only do our toolboxes look tough and rugged with the black checker plating, but they're really, really functional. Let me show you the space inside and what they do. So they've got the dust protective caps over the locks, so you can secure everything uh, safely away. Really strong slide out tray. So this side is typically for your fridge or freezer, extra cold storage that you might want outside, meat, beer, what have you when you're barbecuing. You'll notice we've got that 12 volt point to plug your fridge in. On the opposite side of our toolbox, it's the exact same thing for your generator, minus the 12 volt point. All right, now we're at the front of the awning side of our van, and guys, I am really excited to show you this feature that's been optioned onto this digger too. We've got a light overhead, the reason being, we've got this amazing Dometic slide out large kitchen. It is really cool, check this out. Now I'll tell you what, you pull up to your campsite and whip this baby out. You're gonna make some new friends really quickly. This huge cooking space, you've got your three gas burner cooktops, prep area, and a sink. That faucet folds right up, folds right back down. And then when you're done impressing everybody, you just tuck it right back away. Now you can imagine when this gorgeous large kitchen isn't in there, you've seen our tunnel boots, you know how much space is in there. But again, how impressive is that? So as a standard, you know, we always have our gas bayonet just outside the awning arm on our vans. But you'll notice right here, we've got these two extra outlets. That's for the hot and cold water when you've plumbed in that outdoor kitchen. Okay, look, I'm gonna try to do this take without the wind blowing my hair everywhere, but let's be honest, we're not here to talk about my hair, we're here to talk about the van. So, continuing down the awning side of the van, well, we have this big, beautiful awning. Standard also is our outdoor speakers. Um, there is two of them out here. Now you can fade those speakers in or out, front and back. Really nice feature. Massive windows lets in a ton of light. They are double glazed. Right here we've got your entertainment center. So you can mount your 24 inch TV from the inside to the outside. Catch the foodie game when you just can't miss one. Plugs into your 12 volt. There's your aerial point and your 240. Drop down picnic table. Great for when you want to just have all your snacks and beers out ready for everybody to, to grab. Going down further. Entry into the van, we've got two large LED lights overhead to, to brighten the party up at nighttime. Our doors are a three-way door, that means they are security mesh and the full uh, protective door here as well, but it is nice to have that option of a security screen. It is proper security screen, it is midgy proof, and there is, uh, there is pull-down blinds in there as well. So that's a nice feature. Good easy double step to use. 
light up handle, I can tell you from experience, it is nice to have when you're someplace where there's no light pollution and you wanna get back into the van at nighttime. Let's go around to the back of the van. I wanna talk about what we've got on here as a standard, which are these two 20 liter jerry can holders. A full size spare tire. Now we have option to reverse camera on this van. It is nice for some people who aren't really comfortable to back up, but that's up to you if you wanna option that on or not. Okay, so before we finish going down the outside of the van, I wanna talk a bit more about the construction. It's a Maranti timber frame. Why do we like it? It's tried, it's true, it's tested. It's really flexible and we are an off-road van company so we want our vans to flex. This particular van is a flat aluminum composite material. It looks really good, it's really durable and it's gonna hold up in the elements with the dirt and the dust. Protecting our van below that flat aluminum composite material is this checker plating that goes all the way around the entire circumference of the van. Again, not only does it look good, but it provides a great feature of protecting your van from rocks and stones that might kick up during your travels. Now back here, this is everyone's favorite part of the van. It's really not, I made that up. This is your cassette toilet. This is where you have to decide who is going to empty the dunny. Probably the person that didn't cook dinner, maybe, I would say. So moving on down, um, on this van we've got uh, the gray water tank outlet and we've also got your mains water. So that's where you plug your van in when you're on to mains water, when you're not using your tanks. Now we've got two 95 liter tanks under the van. That'll supply your shower and your sinks. Cruising on down, two fill points for our dual water tanks. That your ventilation system for your hot water. It's a 28 liter swift hot water system. This up here, that's your 240 inlet, so when you want to plug into your 240, run your AC uh, or run your, um, your microwave. If you want to go ahead and upgrade to maybe extra solar or lithium system, pop an inverter in, then you can run those things that are on 240 when you're not on 240. That's something that you can always have a chat with us about. Always happy to help and talk about options for your van to make it suit your needs. Going down again further, down here we've got our two 100 amp hour AGM batteries. This is our standard setup, but coupled with that are two 170 watt solar panels on top of the van, trust me. They actually do a very, very good job. Okay, so I've pulled that kitchen out on the other side of our tunnel boot, so you can actually see the space that's in there if you didn't have the kitchen inside. So go ahead and have a look. You can see it's quite big. Okay, we're almost done wrapping up, wrapping around the outside of this van. So just past the non-awning side of that tunnel boot that I just showed you, we've got again our other side of the toolbox on our six inch Duragal Australian steel uh, chassis and A-frame. We've got a water tap there, just convenient when you need to hose off anything that might have gotten dirty on your travel. Inside the Digger 2, which is one of our two single axle couples vans at 18 foot 7, this does give you some different floor plans to the Cobber 2. Both great vans. What um, I do like about this one is you'll notice we don't have that entry at the bedside. So you're coming into the van at the back where the fridge is and where the ensuite is. So this really is your living space back here. Really good L-shaped lounge. I mean, you can see there is quite a bit of space. Again, very deceiving for an 18 foot 7 van. Behind me, a really spacious Queen Island bed, um, really nice storage space. I wanna tell you more about that. Okay, main bed area. Tell me this bed does not look inviting and comfortable. Now I know that the majority of the time you're gonna be outside your van, but when you wanna have a good night's rest, you're gonna get it here. There's a few reasons why I like this space. The big windows, like this one behind me, really lets in a lot of beautiful light. Sometimes you might not want that, and that's okay, we've got you covered. So we've got full block out, or if you want the breeze coming through, midgy mesh. We've optioned on this fan some Sirocco fans. So when the breeze may not be coming through these big beautiful windows, you can opt to push a bit of wind through with those fans. They are really powerful, don't be deceived by their size. Plenty of storage, we have wardrobes on both sides of the bed. We also have storage below here on the bedside tables. And another really cool feature on our vans, you see the niche here behind me? It's got a 240 and a 12 volt point. We all know we have stuff to charge that we want to keep charged at all times and you want them to be accessible, whether you're at the lounge room here or whether you're in your bed. 
Our reading lights are two-way. That means there's a blue ambient light when you don't want to bother your partner or the bright light when you do. Underneath every single point, um, reading point in the van, there is a USB socket there as well. So again, you're never going to be shy of having places to charge. Overhead, all of our cupboards are really generous. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know I, I, like, I always go on about the storage space because you can never have enough storage space. Overhead, you'll notice we've got large hatches. Uh, that also has the screens, both the midi mesh and the full blockout. Um, illuminated lighting around it but what I like about this as well with these big hatches that we provide in our vans is if you're coming back into the van after a hot day and it's been closed up I'll tell you what you pop those babies open and the heat does just suck right out the other nice thing when you're in the middle of nowhere and all you can see is the stars you're gonna love gazing at them through that window yes we all go camping to be outside not to be inside but on those days when you want to catch up on your Netflix series not a problem take your 24 inch TV Mount it on that bracket, and you can upgrade to a smart TV, by the way. So again, always chat with us about options. Mount that up, enjoy your favorite show in bed. Maybe the weather's not great and you just want to have a nice, warm, cozy day or afternoon in your bed. Next to that also, we've got the aerial point to plug in, and you'll notice as well the wind up for your antenna. And that's a two way, that means it goes horizontal left and right. Really good tip for you. If you pull up to a caravan park and you want to know where to get the best, uh, the best signal, just look at your neighbors and see where theirs is pointing. So the TV bracket I was talking about, it's really convenient because it does swing right around so that you can watch TV from the lounge or the bed. And it just pops back. This is the one that pops out and slides into the bracket outside. Really, really convenient, super easy. Overhead, we've got two internal speakers. And I mentioned before, you can toggle the speakers to play inside, outside, front and back in my hand. I've got the remote for our Bel Air Houghton AC and heating unit split system. Now I've had this thing cranking in our 22 and a half foot vans when it's been 40 degrees with no clouds in the sky. And I tell you what, it works a treat. I love the lounge setting in the Digger 2. It's a really spacious area, um, large table, swivels in and out swivels around, it makes it really versatile to use um, for whatever your needs might be or just when you're getting people in and out, playing cards. Um, overhead, again, lots of really great storage in this van. I do have one complaint though, and it's that this prop coffee mug has no hot coffee in it and my hands are cold. It's the middle of winter in Melbourne. Someone fix this! So as I mentioned, the table with the empty coffee mugs on it, really easy to use. Swivels in and out, side to side, and all the way out. Just makes it so convenient when you want to get people in and out. Just provide more room or tuck it back in. It's a really, really nice feature. Below that, you'll also see we've got storage underneath the lounge. Hey there. Uh, yeah, no, this is actually still no coffee in this. I'm going to write a letter to management. Except that's me. That's probably not going to go very far. Let's chat about our kitchen. Okay. What do I like about the Digger 2 kitchen? Nice big sink with a drain tray. I'm a messy person, so for me, this is absolutely fabulous. We've got an overhead light here as well, which is just nice when you're doing things at nighttime and don't want it too bright. Um, everybody's favorite the pull-out pantry. No one wants their cans and sauces rolling around. Lots of good drawer storage here for utensils, tea towels, etc. Overhead, as always. Summer never stops talking about it, but the storage. Cooktop. We've got a three-way gas and one electric uh, cooktop. Um, the one thing I like about this is just when you pop this down, Everybody loves extra bench space for prepping. You're not always going to be cooking inside, you're going to be cooking outside a lot, but it is nice that when you are cooking inside, you've got such a gorgeous area. Above that, your range hood with a light as well. So as a standard, our Digger 2 comes with a full-size oven, as you can see here. However, on this van, we've optioned a grill only, and we've put a pot drawer down below for extra storage. Now earlier, if you remember, I talked about 
why I like the location of the door in the Digger 2 and its relationship to the fridge. One of my favorite appliances, the fridge. So this 188 liter fridge, really easily accessible from the front door. So if you want to just run in, grab a drink, head back out, you don't have to go through the whole van. Like I said, 188 liters. That's a lot of cold storage. Very, very spacious freezer. And of course, coupled with a very spacious fridge. It's got a crisper drawer on the bottom, plenty of side door storage, and plenty of shelving. This is a Dometic three-way fridge. Three-way means it's really easy to use. It's an automatic fridge, so it's gonna tell you what the best setting for it is, whether that be gas, 12 volt, or 240. Above our fridge, we've got our 240 volt microwave. So again, I wanna talk 240. That means it's only gonna run when you're plugged into your mains powers, or if you're using your generator or your inverter. Here we are in the ensuite of the Digger 2. Now, some of you that are previously um, familiar with the Digger 2 are gonna notice some changes. Most notably is now we have all this extra storage below our linen cupboard. The reason for that is we no longer have that generator box back here because we have that fabulous toolbox up the front to put your generator in. What does that mean for you? More storage. So I like to put um, baskets down below in those cubby holes. It really just kind of makes things look neat and nice and accessible. Um, behind the toilet we've got a window and above it we've got a ventilation system with a fan as well. It's a Thetford swivel toilet but as you can see we don't really need to use that swivel because plenty of room here. Um, next to me underneath our really good spacious bench space we've got a two and a half kilo washer. This is really nice for when you just don't have time to go to the laundromat but need to wash those um, small items that are frequently used. Overhead great space for all your toiletries beautiful sink, vanity light um, on top of having that good LED light above as well. And across from me is our really spacious shower. What I like about being able to shower in our Kokoda vans is that it doesn't feel like you're in a camping van at all. It feels like you're in a hotel. This van, like all our Kokodas, are off-grid capable and come with a BM Pro HA2 Lithium Ready Charging Unit along with a Mini Boost which boosts your 12 volt charging capacity. Over here we have a really handy display screen which allows you to monitor your water tank and solar input levels along with turning on your water pump and the power throughout the van. Another convenient feature is the battery level indicator which predicts how many hours of usage you have left based on the amount of power being drawn at that time. Well, I have really enjoyed showing you all the things that I love about our Digger 2. Its function, its features, how beautiful it is, while also looking really, really tough. Because it is, it's nimble, it's capable, it's gonna take you where you wanna go. You will have an absolute blast in this van, I promise you. Um, and as much as I'm having a great time talking about it, it is time for me to actually go get a hot coffee. I am still cold. It is winter in Melbourne. Have a great day. If you have any questions, please do contact us at www.kokotacaravans.com.au. We cannot wait to help you out.